What's up guys, it's Hot Wheels Tournaments here today with a Collector Wednesday special. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Matchbox Basic Range new models. I'm going to give my thoughts. Now there are more models coming in the moving parts, but at the Matchbox convention, which I was happy to attend last weekend, they only show the new models. So we're going to take a look at those today. We're going in order of production. So the car is starting in the top left corner all the way down to the right. So the cars that we see first are going to be earlier in the mixes and the cars we see later will probably be later based off the production stage they're in now. Anyways, just keep in mind, these are my thoughts on the cars at this moment in time. Obviously, we don't have the cars in hand. I can't see them yet, but these are my thoughts on the picks. We start off with the 1949 Curtis Sport Car. This is a car way out of left field for Matchbox. It was produced, obviously, in the 40s and 50s um, before it was sold off to another company by Curtis. Um... But yeah, this car never really reached even 50 production models, but it looks super cool here. It's a five piece, as you can actually see. I talked to Abe about that, the head designer for Matchbox. I asked him, is that five pieces? Which it is, which is nice. We've seen so many blacked out windshields. We can see in this final version, it looks like it'll be a five piece. So good start here. Left field pick, but I like it so far. The next model we're looking at is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I would guess this is not the final one we're gonna see. I don't know, that blue interior looks weird to me, but you never know. Anyways. Good JDM choice here for Matchbox. We need more Mitsubishis in the lineup. We've really only had that Lancer Evolution police car. So good to see this. I believe we're going to get a Lancer Evolution also in moving parts, which is good. But a good choice here for Matchbox. Definitely, I will be on the lookout for this one. And I assume many other collectors will be as well. This is a car that a lot of people have been asking for from a long time from the blue brand as well. Then we move on to a 1960 Chevy El Camino. We've seen El Caminos previously, but Abe in his presentation said he really wanted to see a 60 version this one looks so good so far i'm a little nervous the ford ranchero peg wormed for a while i hope this car doesn't too but we'll see what happens but yeah those rancheros set around i'm nervous about the el camino similar car we'll see what it does but a good pick good to have another el camino in the lineup a um, little more of a unique design there on the car a more unique silhouette so it looks good Moving on, we have the BMW 3 Series Touring Wagon. The year they have on the presentation is 2012, so it'll be a newer version, but always glad to see more wagons in the lineup and always good to see another BMW. Personally, this is the model I'm probably most excited for. I think they'll probably do a great job. They always do with BMWs and German cars in general. So this one looks super sporty. It'll pair nicely with that Auden wagon. I have a feeling this one's going to be an instant classic in the Matchbox collector community, and a lot of collectors in general are going to be after this car. Then we have a supercar for the lineup, the Porsche 918. Sorry about the blurry picture. It didn't turn out well. Anyways, um, the Porsche 918 fills in that supercar for Matchbox, that gap. They try and do one every year. They've had the McLaren 720S, a Lamborghini Centenario, Bugatti Devo in the last couple years. Now we get the Porsche 918. Looks absolutely awesome. And the thing I love about it is it's a hard top casting. A lot of the versions we've seen, especially from Hot Wheels, who's done two, is they've been the spider version. Now we get a hard top version. So far, it looks really good. That green's ugly, but don't let it throw you off it looks great in person next up we have only one of two generics that's right only two generics here for 2022 we're approaching that zero mark sooner or later hopefully um but this is the road roller don't know why they did another road roller they already have a casting that looks a lot like this and performs a similar function but you know whatever next up we have a 1936 ford coupe similar to supercars we've seen one kind of classic car like this at least every year a lugo Huge fan of classic cars. He absolutely loves them. He posts them all the time on the Matchbox Instagram. But here we have a 36 Ford Coupe, and it'll fill in that gap. I know a lot of people aren't huge on this, but it is fun to have some diversity in the range like this. Next up, we have the 1973 Opel Cadet. Admittedly, I don't know as much about Opel as other manufacturers because we don't have them over here in the States, but Matchbox has done Opel before. They did the Opel Speedster during the golden era. I actually bought my first one at the convention, so kind of cool to see it coming back in the line. Going to be a cool casting, I think, for sure. Again, adds that diversity. More German cars. I will never complain with that. I love my German cars, so cool choice here for Matchbox. Following that, we have the Volkswagen ID4. Now, you will know Notice there's a common theme. A lot of electric cars this year from Matchbox. Personally, I'm not the hugest fan of it because I think it results in a lot of castings that are going to be really similar this year. The Volkswagen falls into that group. Um, so I think we're going to get three or four cars that are really similar and look really the same and fill in that same gap kind of in the collector's range. So I don't think it brings a lot of diversity. And personally, they're not the most uh, fun cars to me, but um, it's what Mattel wants. So unfortunately, as happens, at least they're licensed though. 
You get to follow up that electric car with what I consider more exciting, the Tesla Model Y. Matchbox has done some amazing Tesla. The moving parts Tesla Model X was very cool. Unfortunately, you probably won't see it again. And the Tesla Model S was amazing. So good to see a Model Y in here. I like the looks of the Teslas more than any electric cars. They look sleeker, cleaner, faster. So I'm not complaining about these in the range because they always look great. And this one looks like it's off to a solid start within its resin stage. I'm sure this one will be knocked out of the park and people will love it we follow that up with the generic the push and puller essentially you have two cars put together but it's the front of both cars so it can drive either way kind of a fun little car i mean obviously i'll get the first version and nothing else but you know kind of a cool generic it fills a generic spot so whatever moving past that we have the cadillac ct5 v black wing absolutely fantastic to see this car in the lineup it's the car i never knew i needed as a matchbox but i'm glad we're getting it we really did need an update to the cadillac casting range as the newest one we have in the lineup in terms of this is the ctsv and the ctsv wagon which don't get me wrong amazing castings but they're getting pretty old came out around 2012 so getting a new one like this is gonna be absolutely fantastic it's supposed to be an absolute behemoth an absolute beast so good to see it especially considering it's going to be one of the last gas petrol powered cars we see from cadillac before they start doing all electric so fantastic choice from matchbox moving on from that we have the 69 dodge charger this is going to be stock classic muscle car if it looks anything is anything close to that plymouth savoy we got earlier this year i'm going to be absolutely ecstatic about this model because it's going to look great that plymouth was fantastic so i have high hopes for this dodge charger after seeing that not a big muscle car guy but the way matchbox is doing them right now I will not complain if this one comes out great. It'll be better than those crazy looking ones we get from Hot Wheels. So excited to see what a stock muscle car from Matchbox will look like here. Next up is the Matchbox Kia Seltos. Now, again, one of those EV models. I think it looks like, you know, that previous Volkswagen we sold. But this is significant because it's the first time we've ever seen a Kia in the Matchbox lineup. We just saw from a Hot Wheels Kia Stinger, which I would have loved as a Matchbox. I wish they were got it first. But now we get the Kia Seltos. I'm fine with Kias in the lineup as long as we don't get that god-awful soul because it's so ugly. But great to see a Kia coming in, even if it is with a pretty mundane, everyday type of model but that's matchbox's bread and butter a lot of times we follow that up with the audi e-tron again another ev blending in with the theme you see a lot of these four-door crossover suv type evs so you know i'm a little annoyed we're seeing a lot of them because i don't have a problem with an suv or ev every now and then i just don't want it to be the main focus of the line so wish this one was a coupe or you know matchbox wasn't constrained to have so many of these evs but it's frustrating but nonetheless good to see an audi hopefully we get these evs out of the way and we don't have to see them as new models all the time anyways we followed up with another one of those the mustang e now i hate this car I think it is so, Mustang mach -E, excuse me. I hate this car. I think it's so ugly. I really don't like it. I'm sure Matchbox will do good. The reason I'm showing a picture, Abe, when he showed off all the models, put two Volkswagens in instead of a Mustang Mach-E. He accidentally grabbed the one, wrong one, which further proves my point that they probably all look alike and are going to be really similar. But um, I think this car is ugly. I get why Matchbox is doing it. Some people love it. Just not for me personally, but... Our final EV here that we're going to look at in this group is the Tesla Model X. We're getting a basic range version. They seem to be getting rid of the moving parts, which sucks because those doors were cool. But the Model X I'm very excited for because this is a cool model. It looks different. It looks unique. It looks like Tesla. And Matchbox does amazing Teslas. So I'm sure this one is going to come out fine. They did great with the first version. This version already looks like it's off to a great start. So can't wait to see how this one turns out very 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 excited and now we have another i said it, we're done with electric models we're not this is the ford lightning which is just you know the f-150 but electric so you know cool truck modern truck glad to see it in the lineup they've been doing modern uh chevys and you know gmc's and all that stuff so it's good to see that the ford is now getting the turn you know after the toyota hilux and nissan also got their trucks put out so ford's getting their turn with the lightning here very cool to see that that doesn't change much yeah it's technically electric but it's not going to change much on the overall look and feel of the casting which i'm glad i'm fine with and now we get a car that needs to use a gas station this is the ford custom 300 1957 is the year on this car on the presentation um don't know a lot about this one i'm not you know huge into those 50 cars 
But again, another another car that kind of fills in that variety, you know, keeps Matchbox fresh. Not everything's the same. There's always going to be a little bit of everything. And I'm sure this one is going to do very well with the older generation of collectors. Then we have the 2018, I want to say, is the year on this Toyota 4Runner. Fantastic choice for Matchbox. This car needs to be a Matchbox. It should be a Matchbox. It's got Matchbox written all over it. Getting the new 4Runner is going to be awesome matchbox has just recently done the fj cruiser which looks great you know they have a great line of success with these toyota type cars so this one is going to be very popular i'm hoping yeah it's a little basic in terms of you see a lot of forerunners but um i think it's going to look really good and be really cool another ev the 2020 citrion ami i've been saying matchbox to do a citrion for a while this isn't what i exactly had in mind very unique very small obviously made for those small streets in you know european cities which are tightly packed together hard to maneuver personally though i think it's really cool it's a right field pick but i think it could look really cool some people are worried about it pe peg warming it probably will but personally i probably collect every version of this thing because i think it's kind of a sick car kind of a cool choice that's a little bit of a hot take especially after i spent a lot of time complaining about a lot of evs next we got the ford cab over truck this is going to be perfect for the classic matchbox collector in fact i know my friends that collect in the golden eras are very excited about this because this is another convoy cab that they'll be able to start using in matchbox convoy or will hook up to already previous convoys that they've released so that's awesome to see then we got the renault megane and i am absolutely psyched I have been asking for this car forever. You can go back and find an old video on my YouTube channel called the top 10 cars I think Matchbox should make. And this is very high up on the list. I thought this would make an absolute awesome Matchbox forever. Ever since I played with it in Forza Horizon 3, I thought it would be a great Matchbox car and we're finally getting it. I can't wait. Maybe my most anticipated model, low key, even though I think I'll like the BMW wagon the most. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know of what you think of the new models coming up down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I know I was a little bit critical on some stuff, but I do love Matchbox. I do love the brand. It's my passion to collect. It's my favorite one to collect. And, you know, I'm critical because it's something I love. And honestly, if I'm being honest, I think it's going to turn out fine. I think we're going to see some great models. Matchbox, Matchbox has done some fantastic things over the last five years to rebrand themselves and get back to where they were. So I'm very excited, but like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Peace.